before your ultimate team coin needs, check out utcoinsforyou.com. There will be a link in the description. And if you use the code CHEZ, you can get yourself a 5% discount. Hey guys, how's it going? Tez back again with episode number 13 of the interactive Road to Division 1. This is of course the series where you guys pick the teams that we play with heading through the ranked divisions looking for that Division 1 title. And we're actually looking to try and pick up the Division 6 title in today's episode if we possibly can. And the first suggestion is Everton as you will have seen earlier on on your screen. The suggestion comes in from Hand97, Mr. FIFA 14, Dan Fitzpatrick, Ahmed Medafra, Extreme Boss, Gary O'Donoghue, Jack Whittaker, Leonidas, Papadopoulos, uh, Joshua Carling and Sam VVJ. So thank you very much to you guys for the suggestion in the comments for this particular episode. So Everton, the first team we're playing with, trying to come up against Newcastle and pick up three points if we possibly can. But uh, Tim Krull, as you may expect, was performing very, very well indeed against me, as he always seems to do whenever I come up against the Newcastle side, whether it's in career mode or in uh, in head-to-head -head ranked divisions or even on ultimate team. Tim Krull seems to be my nemesis when it comes to, uh, to scoring goals. But uh, here I tried to defend the uh, the late the second shot the second phase of play I went to change player and actually changed to the defender that was sat on the floor injured if you saw that don't know whether you did or not but uh, that was kind of frustrating fortunately it didn't end up in uh, in him going in front so we we get off with that one but Dedefo break it down the left hand side he's going to whip a nice ball up goes Ross Barkley off the bar comes the header deflected back out James McCarthy with a the second effort but it does get deflected out for uh, for an offside free kick but just a couple of minutes later the game's actually going to lag out I don't know whether he left or it was just a genuine dropout. We've had a couple of these recently. Obviously, in the episode before last, uh, we were losing as a in a game with Man City against Real Madrid, and uh, it gave us the loss, understandably, as you may expect. This one was nil-nil in the 42nd minute, and it actually gave me all three points. So I think the guy may have, I don't know, rage quit. I doubt it would have been a rage quit, a nil-nil. Maybe it was just a genuine dropout on his part, but it gave me the win. So... Buzzing. Three points for us uh, with barely any effort done so far in the episode whatsoever. So the second suggestion is the Belgian national team. We used the German national team in the previous episode. So uh, maybe there is a trend of national teams coming now. Uh, Daniel Stocks, Julie Wilkes, Liam Fitzpatrick, Ahmed Madafra and Dan Fitzpatrick. Uh, I'm led to believe that there is no relation between those two, despite the fact that they keep picking the same teams every single week. But... Uh, Belgian national team, obviously one of the best uh, international sides about with all the up-and-coming talent that they have. Uh, looking forward to doing the, uh, the World Cup squad series with them by the uh, by the time we get round to doing them. Hopefully I'll be able to get an inform Hazard in there somewhere. But we're going to get off to a good start. Dries Mertens, striking off the challenge from Colo Torre, squares the ball for Christian Benteke to put us 1-0 up in the 24th minute. I chose Benteke over Lukaku. As uh, you guys are well aware on this channel already, I do not get on with Romelu when it comes to, uh, to FIFA 14 in ultimate team or career mode but we get a penalty here Martin Skull is going to get uh, going to get booked but I think it's actually a dive from Marwan Fellaini you'll see the replay Skull uh, he shields the ball Skull wins the ball there with his left foot and then Fellaini just flops to the floor I think it's a dive and the referee's bought it book Skull we get a penalty Eden Hazard is going to step up to take it obviously he scored a penalty to get his hat trick at the weekend against uh, Newcastle this time goes to the same side a little bit more power this time though and we are going to head 2-0 up into half time but he's going to get one back here Coutinho plays a lovely lofty through ball looking for Daniel Sturridge first time shot he's saved well by uh, by Thibaut Courtois but unfortunately it drops to Luis Suarez and he's able to get himself back into the game at 2-1 and he really wanted to make sure that uh, he just flew up at me and uh, got himself back into the game but just a few minutes later we're actually going to make it three Dries Mertens involved again really really do like playing with him fortunate that the ball didn't deflect off Benteke there for offside but a tidy finish from Dries right into that bottom left hand corner and uh, that gives us the two goal advantage back again that we had earlier on in the game but he's going to get himself back in the game once again Jordan Henderson doing the work down the right hand side and unfortunately it lags a little bit and I can't get my clearance away Daniel Sturridge with a poacher's effort picks the ball up tidy left footed shot into the bottom corner and again he's straight in the net to pick the ball up to get himself back in it if he possibly can but we're going to increase our lead for a third time going to go 4-2 up here not really too sure what I was doing with Dembele I just kind of kept jogging and then uh, rode the challenge struck the ball really nicely across the goalkeeper into that far bottom corner kind of the opposite of the Dries Mertens goal that we scored to give it to make it 3-1 and we almost made it 5-2 here Mertens threw one goal lifted the uh, the ball over the top of Simon Minio unfortunately it didn't dip in time to go into the back of the net but that was going to bring the rage quit he uh, he had enough in the 86th 87th minute or so decided that uh, he definitely wasn't going to get back into the game so he was just going to quit on 
army. So that's six points out of a possible six so far in this episode. So the third and final suggestion for this episode is Fire Nord. It comes in from Mick Donkola, Minister Owl and Murkovich HD. So thank you very much to you guys for the third and final suggestion. We're just going to come up against Montpellier in, uh, in this one. Of course they've got the recently informed Remy Cabea up top. Also the recently transferred uh, Niang from AC Milan now at uh, now at Montpellier in France now I'll be completely honest Feyenoord weren't very nice to play with we've already played with Ajax and uh, and PSV the other two big Dutch sides in this series and we've done quite well with both but uh, Feyenoord I just did not get on with them whatsoever Pele the big tall uh, strong striker was doing a little bit of work for me but he's not really got that much pace about him and I just couldn't really find any sort of inroads in behind their uh, their back line you've got the uh, the wide winger as opposed to a narrow winger there's a, a wide winger who uh, has got a lot a lot of pace and he's absolutely rapid but he's just not very strong and I couldn't really force my way through uh, through his defence unfortunately uh, we went 1-0 down early on as you can see and the goalkeeper is going to keep me in it for uh, for the majority of the first half it was just a case of me still getting used to how the team was playing and uh, I struggled in the first I'll be completely honest barely had a shot on target and uh, I was just kind of riding my luck to uh, to start off this this specific game into the second half though I did get the feel of the team a little bit more trying to catch him on the counter attack and uh, we're actually going to play the through ball through to Bosus, who is the player with the, you know, the electric speed. And unfortunately, I'm just too fast for my own good. And by the time I take this, take the shot, I'm too close to the goalkeeper. And then Imos is going to have a shot well saved, and I can't get the ball back across with Pele to cause the goal any more trouble. So uh, we stay at one nil for now. But we are going to have another effort just a few minutes later. A mistake from him through to Pele. Not got pace to get away, so I have to take the shot early, and he just can't quite get it on target. Decent power behind it, decent ish accuracy, trying to find that far bottom corner. It just didn't quite work. So into the stoppage time at the end of the second half. It's do or die time. And now uh, we do, and well, it was a poor pass to be completely honest. But then a break into the box. Have the shot. It's deflected. Can Bose just get there? He can. But the shot doesn't have enough power to get it into the back of the net. And unfortunately, we take a defeat from the last game of the episode. In a game that, had we won it, would have won us the title. You'll be able to see from the graphic on your screen now. We are one game short. One win short of the Division 6 title. We are promoted, so we are going up into Division 5, but we do have one game left to try and pick up that title. We've picked up titles in every division all the way through, so it would be nice to continue that trend. So leave a suggestion in the comment section down below, leaving me some teams that you'd like me to use. Try and pick up that Division 6 title if you possibly can in that one final game. If uh, you aren't subscribed to the channel and you would like to do so, there'll be a link on screen over the right-hand side of the end slate and a link in the description. If you don't follow me on Twitter already, I do advise that you do. Uh, plenty of action going on in the Twitter sphere at Chesnoy Game is a Twitter handle link to that in the description and a link to the previous episode in this series on the left hand side as well that's going to bring this one to a close guys thank you very much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed and uh, I will see you next time